Hi, my name is Shane. I'm a large format photographer. And if you're new here, this is a channel really related more to photography, but uh, I do specialize in landscape photography. So a lot of times I have to go to pretty remote locations and I spend 95% of the time camping in my vehicle. Um, in this week's video, I wanna introduce you to what I think is the ultimate camping setup for a G-Wagon. Now, I bought this vehicle back in 2017. It's a 2003 Mercedes-Benz G500, and I've slowly been outfitting it to make it more comfortable for my photography trips. And the setup I had in previous videos was a rooftop tent, a rack, a ladder, and an awning. And it was a great setup, but um, it never was really the end goal for this vehicle. So in this week's video, I'm gonna introduce you to Christopher. He's a mechanic up in San Francisco. And I'll also show you a few of the photographs I made while I was up there towards the end of the video. So let's meet Chris. Hi there, my name's Christopher. Today we're in my shop, Trail Dust Restoration. Um, I'm working on Shane's G-Wagon. We're adding a Schmude carbon fiber camp top, which involves chopping the roof off, welding some auxiliary supports, supplied by Schmude, and then finally gluing the camp top onto the roof lip. Um, this is the eight or ninth G-Wagon that I've chopped the roof off of and glued a carbon fiber pop top onto. 2018, I believe, a friend of mine, Alan, approached me and we imported the first four in the country. He's the guy that makes it all happen. I do the dirty work. If you want one yourself, you can contact Alan. There's a link in the description. There's one for me as well. I'm one of the only people in the country that can do this. I've helped a few people figure it out themselves. It's a very, very steep learning curve, so I recommend you not try this yourself. <laughs> do not try it at home. <laughs> Let's get to work. So to begin, Christopher prepped the vehicle by removing the interior trim panels, headliner, and the sunroof. We're not cutting off the whole roof. We're going to leave a 2 inch, roughly 40 millimeter lip, and the line will just run straight down the side, right above the rain gutter. It's worth mentioning that the camp top is TUV certified, making it road legal in both Germany and Austria. And the overall strength of the roof actually increased after the installation. And you're gonna see here in a second, uh, Christopher's gonna weld on some cross members that give it that extra support, uh, as well as a couple other pieces that support the camp top itself.
Here Christopher's removing a protective film that exposes a clean and grease-free surface on the interior of the camp top. Then we took some steel wool to rough up the remaining roof lip and cleaned everything with acetone before applying Cicoflex to the interior of the camp top and to the roof lip. And this is what bonds the camp top to the G-Wagon. Well, now that you've seen the install process, I want to take you around and show you how the tent operates and what it looks like when it's all set up. So first you have to undo these latches here. And it's crazy how like factory it looks, right? It only increased the height of the vehicle about two inches, which is impressive. And I think overall only increased the weight by about 25 pounds. Um, but I'm going to take you in the back and show you a few straps back there that we use to um, basically it holds the tent down from the inside of the vehicle so that nobody can open it when the truck's locked. So there are two straps back here. One on this side, one on this side. And then once those are loose, you just simply push the top up. And you go around the front and you push this side up as well. And that's the tent fully set up. All right, well now that the tent is fully set up, I'm gonna show you how to get inside. Um, so it's, the sleeping platform is divided into two in the back here. So to get in, you push up and this little hinge piece flops down and you can set that there. You can climb up that way. If you want to open the entire back, you can do that as well by pushing the other side up. And this version here is called the S2. So there's, I forget, I think it's the S5 that basically there's another uh, welded on piece and that's as far as you can open it, which is right behind the rear seats. But this version, I can actually push another platform up all the way to the front of the tent and have a complete uh, walking area. Um, so I'm going to show you how that works. All right, well now I'm inside the G-Wagon and I've got uh, this other platform that I'm going to move forward for you guys just so you can see how that works. So this particular camp top is the S2 version, which gives you a little more walking space. So on the S5, this piece is uh, basically you can't lift it, but on the S2, you can lift this right up and it hinges and basically gives you a walking space all the way to the back of the driver's seat. And I'm standing now on the floor and I've got about 10 inches of head height in the back of here. So overall pretty roomy and uh, I'll probably maybe upholster some cushions on the back on the top of this fridge here and make this my seat. But uh, overall that's the introduction to the camp top. And now I'm going to show you some of the photographs I made while I was up in San Francisco.
As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few weeks.